facts, traits, and other information about the Bernese Mountain Dog breed. Are you considering getting a Bernese Mountain Dog as your next canine friend? You're in luck, then. They are wonderful pets for almost anyone. Learn everything there is to know about the breed, including characteristics, puppy costs, and more. Are you considering getting a Bernese Mountain Dog as your next dog friend? This big, fluffy ball of joy and love has the exact appearance you would anticipate. With his shaggy fur and tricolored good looks, he is a smiley, happy person who is also incredibly soft and cuddly. The Burner is a well-known working breed that is powerfully built. They were created for use in the mountains, but they have quickly emerged as a household favorite. They are excellent, well-rounded dogs that adapt well to almost any living situation if you can manage their size. However, there are some things you should think about before bringing this gorgeously fluffy companion home. Due to their size and activity level, burners are not suitable for all types of households or living arrangements. Make sure you have the resources to care for a large breed dog, as well as some of the additional expenses that may arise. Are you prepared to find out if this Swiss dog is ideal for your family? Let's go for it. History. The Swiss Alps are where the breed first appeared. A well-known working dog breed is the Bernese Mountain Dog, or the Burner as he is affectionately known by enthusiasts. His ancestors are thought to be the Molosser or other traveling Mastiff type dogs, and he is thought to have existed on Swiss farms for at least 2,000 years. When the Romans conquered the Alps in the first century, they brought Molosser dogs with them. The four varieties of Swiss Sennenhund were developed there through breeding with unidentified local breeds. The Burner, one of four varieties, is frequently contrasted with the Swissy, which shares its coloring but has a shorter coat. The name comes from the Bern region. The two biggest Swiss exports to this day are cheese and chocolate, both of which are produced in the vast agricultural region of Bern. Over 12,000 farms are still located throughout Bern's valleys, hills, and mountains, even though the burner is no longer required to work on them. The burner was a multi-purpose farm dog used for guarding the home and property as well as pulling carts loaded with dairy products. Throughout the 19th century, their numbers decreased, but by 1899, the Swiss were looking to protect their native breeds and the Burner Dog Club. Many of the members were seasoned Swiss purebred dog breeders. Unfortunately, the World Wars meant that breeding and shows were neglected. The first dogs, however, were exported to the United States after the war, and the Glen Shadow Kennel in Louisiana imported a pair of Burners for breeding in 1936. They currently hold a spot among the top 30 most popular dog breeds and have for some time. The Swiss dog has gained popularity recently, and breeders have worked hard to get the other Swiss breeds recognized by the AKC. He is a beloved family dog who has also been used for therapy due to his love of people. His popularity has led to a large number of burner hybrids. Temperament The burner is fantastic for families and kids. They are described as self-assured, alert, and friendly in the AKC breed standard. Never snarky or timid. The burner is extremely intelligent, loving, and protective without being overbearing or hostile, making them a wonderful family companion who is patient and tolerant as well as kind to children. A balanced dog for a family home overall. You've also found a winner if you're looking for a good house dog. Despite not being aggressive, they have a loud voice and will bark at strangers and other objects they perceive as threats. This, combined with their enormous size and aloof demeanor, can serve as a powerful visual deterrent to potential intruders. However, their tendency to guard comes with a dark side that goes along with their gentle nature. The burner would probably just observe from a distance and not attempt to fend off an intruder if they did decide to break into the house. The burner didn't get the memo that he isn't a lap dog when it comes to cuddle time. He will therefore climb onto your lap to cause a scene as soon as you remain still for more than a few seconds. Once he knows they are comfortable with you, he will be this affectionate with every member of the family and friend of the family. He is therefore the ideal hangout companion a family could have. He is not quite as relaxed as his St. Bernard cousin, but he is also moderately energetic. 
The Burner is a lot of fun and will play with his family all day long. Because of his awkwardness, the dog needs a fun and energetic family to keep up with him. If you're looking for some sort of free entertainment, this is fantastic. If you live a sedentary lifestyle, not so much. Dimension and Appearance This breed is quite large, frequently weighing more than 100 pounds. Firmly in the large dog class and a working mutt to boot, the burner is a hefty hound. He is between 23 and 27 12 inches tall and between 80 and 115 pounds. He is, to put it mildly, powerful. And if he collides with someone while playing around, his weight alone would be enough to knock a grown man to the ground. He has a muscular frame underneath the shaggy fur that gives him a cuddly appearance. Their large, perceptive eyes are friendly looking and intelligent. The burner, if such a thing exists, is also a happy dog. He has broad, rounded, and drooping ears. His physique is level, long, and strong, giving him a strong, balanced, and assured appearance, and when he walks, he trots with assurance. His paws are enormous, and he has a long tail. Colors and Coat The tricolored coat that is a hallmark of the breed standard is well known. In essence, the burner's coat is only available in tricolor, though there may be some variations if the dog is not a pedigree. The ground coat will typically be pitch black with rich rust and crisp white markings. Specifically, the areas over the eyes, cheeks, mouth corner, chest, legs, and under the tail. The chest marking typically looks like an upside down cross. The coat will have a soft, touchable silky sheen and be medium in length. His two-layer coat was made to keep him warm in the snow and rain, conditions he would encounter while working in the mountains. Contrary to popular belief, the burner breed does not naturally enjoy swimming. In the summer, the double coat also regulates his body temperature, therefore, shaving him would not be a good idea. He sheds occasionally all year long, but due to the extreme temperature changes in the spring and fall, he sheds a lot more. Exercise Specifications Expect to exercise this breed daily for at least 60 minutes due to its high level of activity. Burners require 60 minutes of physical activity each day to maintain their health and avoid boredom. Being working dogs, it is in their nature to use both their bodies and minds to complete tasks. They are content to spend the majority of their time indoors with their humans despite this aspect of their nature. Another major draw of his character is the off switch he has in the house. However, engaging in outdoor activities such as a protracted hike, camping, or backpacking is essential. Additionally, burners enjoy herding competitions and pulling carts, particularly if you put kids in the back. Only high-impact exercise, like running, should be avoided because it can be too much for his joints. This is particularly true when a puppy because it could harm his growing body. Living Circumstances the burner thrives in an environment with lots of room for movement. He's big and likes to be outside, so they'll need a yard to run around in. He struggles living alone in an apartment. He needs to secure his yard as well. Due to their high prey drive, burners enjoy chasing after things, but they also enjoy wandering. If they can escape the yard, they will look around the neighborhood before coming back on their own. It goes without saying that a large home is required for this large, giant breed. Families with young children will benefit greatly from the burner's gentle and calm disposition. Little ones who might tug or act generally overexcited will be treated with great patience and tolerance by him. Always keep an eye on your children and dogs and pay attention to that big tail of his. If a child is on the wrong side of it, it has the power to knock them on their butt. He will also playfully run around the yard chasing older kids who are playing games with him. He has excellent size and playability judgment. With other dogs, the burner can be a bit hit or miss. So if you already have a dog at home, make sure to schedule a play date with any potential burner rescue, or vice versa if he is already the resident doggo. A burner puppy, on the other hand, will warm up to a big sibling or sibling very quickly. Due to their strong prey drive, the majority of burners don't get along well with other household pets. Training The burner can be very independent while also being eager to please. 
He enjoys picking up new skills, and they are dependable employees who are eager to please. This makes him a great training partner, as does the fact that he enjoys a tasty treat. He is quick to pick things up thanks to his sharp mind. He is content to follow simple instructions and perform laborious duties like pulling carts, carrying heavy loads, and guarding prized possessions like children and cattle. If you want a polite puppy, all dogs need early obedience training, particularly with regard to large dogs, which can develop into dangerous animals if not kept under control and allowed to roam free. However, keep in mind that because of their openness and sensitivity, they are susceptible to being hurt by harsh words. The secret to winning over this big, friendly giant is positive reinforcement training. However, despite his incredible character and people-oriented outlook on life, the burner struggles in his own company. He shouldn't be left alone for a long time as a result. He will experience separation anxiety, so start crate training him as soon as possible. Start with brief intervals of solitude and gradually increase it to no more than three to four hours. Any more than this puts you at risk for anxiety attacks that might trigger bad behavior. Health. The burner has a shorter lifespan than smaller dogs, like most large breeds do. Large breeds have shorter life expectancies than the average puppy, with this breed having a lifespan of only 7 to 10 years. This is because of their small size and small gene pool, which has made them more prone to various genetic health issues. Although not all burners will have health issues, the most typical ailments that affect the breed as a whole are listed below. Numerous burners are impacted by cancer, which can cause early death. Among the many symptoms are lumps, sores that do not heal, bleeding from body orifices, and breathing difficulties. Elbow and hip dysplasia, a condition in which the joints do not fit together properly. Lameness and pain are the symptoms. It can be detected by x-ray and treated with surgery and medication. It can cause arthritis and mobility problems if left untreated for a very long time. Blood bypasses the liver due to a congenital abnormality called the portosystemic shunt. As a result, the liver is unable to properly cleanse the blood, which can result in neurobehavioral abnormalities, loss of appetite, low blood sugar, urinary tract issues, and growth retardation. The self-limiting lameness known as panistiitis will eventually disappear. Burners have a history of limping initially on one leg, then the other, before the limping eventually stops on its own. It is compared to growing pains and typically has no lasting effects. Gastric torsion is another name for bloat. Large breeds are susceptible to the potentially fatal condition, especially if they only receive one substantial meal per day frequently followed by a lot of water consumption or exercise right before meals. When gas or air is trapped in the stomach, it swells and twists, torsion. As a result, the heart is unable to receive blood normally, which eventually results in heart failure. Nutrition. You should anticipate feeding your dog kibble designed especially for large breeds. As they develop from a pup to an adult and then into old age, their nutritional needs will change. You must be conscious of how their needs are changing as a responsible owner. It can arrive sooner than you anticipate because of their shorter life expectancies. Depending on size and weight, an adult burner will typically consume four cups of food per day, though this number can vary. If he is extremely active or a true working dog, you must also account for his energy output. He will need to consume more calories as a result. For large breed dogs, always look for high quality foods that result in age specific food formulas. Meeting their requirements as a young child, adult, and senior. Most veterinarians still recommend kibble as the best food. It has strict regulations and a balanced diet with extra vitamins and minerals to guarantee a healthy pup. The majority of dogs will enjoy it, plus it's safe and convenient even though it appears to be dry and unappetizing. These dogs have a strong focus on food and a voracious appetite for nearly everything edible. In light of this, it is important to monitor their weight carefully. They are prone to obesity because they often don't get the exercise they need, and the bulky coat can conceal a lot of the extra weight they've put on. The scales are the best tool for keeping an eye on it. 
Additionally, you must modify your diet during training to take into account the treats you use. Keep the weight off his joints, please. Grooming. Expect greater grooming requirements, especially during the shedding season, with extremely thick coats. The burner has a double coat and thick fur, which causes them to shed frequently and have significant grooming requirements. The good news is that although they require more care, taking care of their grooming is simple. Two to three times a week brushing is required for their glossy locks to prevent knots and matting and to get rid of dirt and dead hair. They shed from a moderate to heavy amount, as was previously mentioned. So, the burner isn't for you if you don't like fur balls in your house or hair on your clothes. Think about a burn doodle if you want a dog with minimal grooming requirements. A slicker brush that penetrates their thick undercoat of finer hair that adheres to everything can remove the majority of their loose hair. Additionally, it promotes the natural oils that keep their coat gorgeously glossy while stimulating hair follicles. The majority of the daily dirt that collects on their fur will fall off naturally. Thankfully, they take care of grooming themselves and are typically tidy dogs. Every month or so is about right for bathing your burner dog. Avoid cleaning too frequently as this removes the healthy natural wells from the coat. From a young age, get him used to his grooming routine because he needs to be gently eased into it. To avoid irritation, use a mild shampoo made with natural ingredients. You might need to spend money on a potent remedy that can get through his thick coat as well. The burner should naturally lose his claws as he exercises because he is an energetic dog. They must be trimmed or ground with a dremel if you can hear them clipping the floor, though. Additionally, he'll need to brush his teeth to maintain good oral hygiene. Fortunately, the burner enjoys spending time with you, so it will serve as a bonding experience and spa visit all rolled into one. Costs of breeders and puppies. The minimum price for a puppy from a reputable breeder is $1,500. There are many trustworthy breeders all over the country because they are very well-liked family dogs. On the one hand, this makes it simpler to locate a healthy puppy, but on the other, it does mean that you will probably need to sign up for a waiting list. A puppy typically costs around $1,500. However, a dog from a breeder who has won awards will cost more. The AKC's Register of Breeders is a good place to start. You must learn how to recognize a burner puppy that might be being sold by a puppy mill when searching for one. These are breeders who put money before health. Low prices, evasive communication, and signs of poor quality breeding or affiliation with a puppy mill are dead giveaways, particularly when it comes to getting to know the puppies before you pick them up. Do your homework and steer clear at all costs. Be sure to account for all expenses associated with owning a burner when setting a budget for your dog. He is not cheap by any means because he is a large dog breed. The list of considerations goes on to include things like insurance, health care, food, bedding, crates, and durable dog toys. Please be sure you can commit to him because dogs require a significant time and financial commitment. Shelters and rescues. If at all possible, contact rescues or shelters before adopting. If you haven't already, you ought to think about adopting an animal rather than buying one. You can go to your neighborhood rescue shelters because, regardless of how much someone paid for them, all kinds of popular breeds end up there. There are also specialized organizations that focus on finding homes for these lovely bundles of Swiss affection. The BFW Rescue and the Bernese Mountain Dog Club of America both list organizations that help burners find their forever homes, along with other details you might find useful. As household pets, the burner is a lot of fun and appropriate for all kinds of families. They don't mind working hard or relaxing and cuddling. To stay healthy, burners must exercise for 60 minutes each day. When the breed is at home with their families, they perform better. Burners make good family and kid dogs, but they can be wary of strangers until they are sure they can be trusted. Burners make poor guard dogs, but make good watchdogs. They are extremely smart and teachable. Their size and power necessitate knowledgeable owners. They prefer to have larger yards instead of apartments. Final Reflections 
before continuing with the video, we would like to tell you about our sponsor BullGift.com. On the site, there are special digital drawings, charcoal drawings, and a special oil painting structure, as well as mugs and magnets that you can stick to your cabinet. You can take advantage of the discounts by using the discount code that appears on the screen. Site address and discount code are also in the description. Now let's go back to our video. The Bernese Mountain Dog will win your heart with his adorably handsome appearance and broad, silly grin. He is a wonderful family dog who is kind, obedient, watchful, and patient. Find the perfect name for your Bernese. He is a joy to own and live with because he is content to relax or go all out when his family is around. He can be independent when the family is busy as long as he is nearby, and he can also be an enormous lapdog in equal measure. The burner can therefore fill the dog-shaped hole in your life whether you are a suburban family, an outdoor worker, a professional couple in a city, or retired on a farm. He only requests the exercise, company, and love he needs to become the awesome furry friend he was bred to be. He is one of the most well-liked dogs right now, and families have enjoyed having him around for a long time. He is adaptable, laid-back, and will follow your family's lead.